Hi, Shane here from Map Progress. Just a quick note on using your tracker for the coast to coast. So when you get your bib, it has a little pocket in the back for your tracker and that's going to be in there for the whole length of the event. If you're on a team you're going to need to swap it um, between team members potentially. Um, now there are two different trackers that we have. There's a Spot Gen 3 and a Spot Gen 4. So both of them work the same way pretty much. Um, just a thing to note is at the top there's a little power light that flashes on green all the time. If that was to go red there's something wrong. Um, so you better come and see us about that. And down the bottom is a tracking light um, that should always be flashing. On the Gen 4 it's slightly different and the, the tracking light um, there's the different button it's not a footprint, it's a little map marker and that little light stops flashing after a while but it's still working. If you want to get it to go again just do a quick little press and it'll start again. Don't hold it down otherwise you'll end up stopping the tracking. So there's also two lights across the top, a GPS and a message sending light. Ignore those, they go on and off and it'll probably re-read at the moment because you're inside and you can't see the satellites. So the things to note about these trackers, they work the same way as far as in the bib. Just stick it in the bib, you want it this facing out. So we just open the little Velcro tab at the back, push that in there, close the Velcro tab up again, and it's all ready to go. And so that just needs a good clear view of the sky to work. And you'll see the light flashing here. It's a good idea for you after you get to Klondike Corner in the two day to get your support crew to check that make sure that it's all working properly. If it's not, come and see me at the information tent. Thanks and have a great race.